In this video, you are going to discover nine side hustles that you can pursue directly after work. And I'm making this video because I've spoken to many people who are looking to make some additional cash outside of their nine to five. You may be someone whose wife is pregnant right now and she wants to stay home with the baby. Guess what? This is an opportunity for you to go ahead and make some additional money for yourself outside of your nine to five so that you can potentially make that happen. You could be somebody who is saving up for a new house. You could be saving up to go back to college or the prices of everything have gone up and you need to make some additional cash. These side hustles that I'm going to share with you in this video can help you make ends meet so that you can accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish. But before I get into the nine side hustles that you can get started with, I want to share things that will help you stay on a consistent path because I've started many side hustles before in the past and have failed at them, even starting this YouTube channel, right? But now I am consistent and I want to give you some strategies that you can use in order for you to stay consistent and to make the money that you want to make. The first step or the first strategy is to make sure you have a good purpose. Why? It could be the fact that your wife wants to go and stay home with the kids, right? Or it could be the fact that you want to go to college or your daughter wants to go to college or you want to buy a new car or you want to save it for a new house. You need to make sure that you have a reason for doing it. If you're just going to go out there and do it just for the money, you are not going to be consistent with it. Step number two is to maintain consistency, guys. So you may need to put on your schedule that you need to do this side hustle on a Monday and a Tuesday, have a Wednesday off or a Thursday and Friday, and you're working again. Find a schedule that works for you to make sure that you are remaining consistent and keeping yourself from getting consistently burnt out. That's going to be what it is. You don't want to get consistently burnt out because many people will go hard at first and start to give it their all and after a week they are completely burnt out that's why when i created this youtube channel i started with a video once a month and then i went to once a week and then i went to twice a week and that's where we are right now and we may potentially bump that up to three times a week and so forth but you want to make sure that you can remain consistent and then once you are consistent you can bump up your output or your input to get a better output. And the last strategy is to make sure that you set goals and you hold yourself accountable. Guys, when I first started this YouTube channel, as I mentioned, I was creating a video every month and I would do it just about every month, but I didn't really have any specific types of times when I was going to get it done. So it could be on the first week of the month, it could be the last week of the month or whatever it is. I just set the goal and said, publish one video once a month. And I did that. And then I said, I wanted to increase my output and create more videos and do I, I was able to do it four times a month, once a week. And then I said, okay, well, I can record on a Sunday and edit and publish on a Wednesday. That's what I did. I held myself to doing just that by setting a goal of wanting to get to four videos a month. And then I said I wanted to get to eight videos a month with two times a week on a Tuesday and Thursday. Ultimately, what you, you see the pattern here is that you set a goal and you hold yourself accountable. And if you're not going to hold yourself accountable, you can't expect for anybody else to hold you accountable. Make sure that you hold yourself accountable so that you can make the headway and make the progress that you need in order for you to have success with your side hustle. All right, guys, I know that was a lot of talking. Now let's jump into the first side hustle, which is freelance writing. And as a freelance writer, you will create content for all different types of platforms. It could be blogs and websites. It could be YouTube channels. It could be Instagram. It could be Facebook. But ultimately what you are doing is you are creating content for individuals who can use that content or to publish that content and for individuals to read that content. Some of the things that you can be doing on a day to day basis is to research and write articles or write scripts or write blogs or other forms of content. You could edit or proofread content. You could communicate with your boss or your clients 
to understand what their needs are and make sure that you meet the deadline. So, and the freelance writers typically work for large businesses or marketing agencies or publishing companies or individual clients and YouTubers. And some really good attributes to have to be a standout freelance writer is strong writing and editing skills, the ability to research and put information in a way that people want to consume it. And time management is a big skill that you can use to make you a standout freelance writer. And to get started on your freelance journey, build a portfolio with writing samples or talk to other freelance writers and, you know, get a better understanding of what it is that they do and how they go about doing it. Once you have a good understanding of what they do and how they go about doing it, then you can create a profile on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork, and then you can network with potential clients by reaching out to their YouTube channels or their Facebooks or through LinkedIn. And as a freelance writer, you can earn anywhere from $45,000 a year to $82,000 a year, depending on your years of experience and the complexity of the work that you're dealing with. Hey everyone, before we continue, I want to take a moment to tell you about an amazing resource that can help you reach new heights within your career black heights. So whether you are just starting out in your career or you are looking to advance in your career, Black Heights offers a wealth of services to guide you every step of the way. At Black Heights, we provide personalized career coaching, professional development workshops, and comprehensive resources to help you achieve your goals. And our expert coaches, including myself, has years of experience and a proven track record of helping clients to land their dream jobs, get promotions, and succeed and excel in their careers. So check out the website to find valuable content, including articles, videos, and webinars on topics like job searching, resume building, interview preparation, leadership development. Please join our community to connect with like-minded professionals and gain access to exclusive events and networking opportunities through our Patreon. Guys, don't wait to take the next step in your career. Visit www.blkheights.com and start your journey to success today. Now let's get back to the video. Now next on the list is an online tutor. And as an online tutor, you will be helping students with their educational needs. It could be with math. It could be with science. It could be with multiplication, which is part of math. It could be with anything that students need help with and you can do that via video calls or other digital platforms that are out there. And some of your daily duties will be to prepare learning lessons in material so that you can teach the individual who you are helping. Some of it will be to conduct tutoring sessions and to assist students with where they need to go. And online tutors typically work for online tutoring companies or educational platforms or independently with individual students. And to make you a great online tutor, all you need to do is have subject matter expertise in a certain field. You need to be able to communicate very well and to be able to teach material to people. And not only that, you need to have patience. And to get started with this type of a side hustle, all you have to do is develop knowledge in a specific area where kids or students will need it. So you can attain qualifications or certifications in your subject area. You can sign up for tutoring platforms like VIP kid or tutor.com or Wisent. Any of those will work for you and then build a strong profile highlighting your expertise and your experience. And the pay for online tutor ranges from $42,000 a year to $76,000 a year, depending on the subject expertise in your experience. Now, next on the list is a graphic designer. And as a graphic designer, you will be creating visual content for people or for brands or creating logos or cards or YouTube banners or Facebook banners or LinkedIn banners. All of those are things that a graphical designer can do. And some of your day-to-day -day duties will be to design graphics for websites or social media platforms or for print team. And you can also work with clients or their teams to design different projects and to ensure that you're getting feedback from your clients 
on the different graphics that you are creating. And graphic designers typically work for marketing agencies or startups or small businesses, or they can work independently as a freelancer as well. And to be a standout graphic designer, you should have a good amount of skills in the Adobe Creative Suite. It could be in Photoshop. It could be in, you know, one of the other Adobe platforms where you can use pictures and designs and so forth. You need to have a bit of creative skills and attention to details and how you can land your first client. You want to build a portfolio showcasing the different graphics that you have created. And then you can use platforms like Behance or Dribble to share your portfolio. And then you can also sign up for other platforms like 99designs or Fiverr as a freelancer as well, or you can just market yourself by going door to door at the businesses in your local town, sharing your portfolio to pick up clients. And the salary for a graphic designer ranges from $47,000 a year to $85,000 a year, depending on your experience and the project's complexity. And next on the list is a social media manager. And this is an important important job for people because brands are always trying to build a positive brand for themselves and have a positive presence on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and YouTube as well. And they need social media managers to help them with creating and scheduling posts and coming up with different content to posts and to respond to comments and to look at the analytics to show them how to grow the brand and how to grow their online presence. And social media managers typically work for small businesses or startups or influencers like myself or digital marketing agencies. And to be successful in this role, you need to have a good understanding of social media platforms and the algorithms behind it. You need to probably have built a social media presence yourself so that people like myself who is an influencer and looking for a social media manager, we can look at what you have created for yourself and say, okay, well, you can do the same thing for me. And you need to have good content creation skills and copywriting skills. And to get started, build a strong social media presence and gain experience by managing other social media platforms for friends or for small businesses. And you can also take courses on platforms like Coursera or HubSpot Academy to understand the ins and outs of some of these social media platforms. And you could get paid good money as a social media manager because the average salary range is around $45,000 a year to $82,000 a year. And next on the list is a virtual assistant. And as a virtual assistant, you will be providing administrative support to either a business, an entrepreneur, a freelancer, or somebody who creates content, basically somebody who needs help. And some of the day-to-day -day things that you could potentially do or things like managing emails and calendars or booking travel or appointments or conducting research and sometimes even creating content. And to make you a great virtual assistant that people want, you need to have good organization and time management skills. That is very, very important. My virtual assistant consistently updates me on the things that I need done. And, you know, she has access to my calendar and access to a lot of my emails and so forth. And she just gets things done on time. Not only that, you need to have a good understanding of the Microsoft suite because you will be getting email word documents and you have to you know, answer and emails and having experience in Google workspace and Google docs and all that, any sort of project management software will be great as well. But the most important is to be a very good communicator. And to get your first job, you should identify your administrative strengths. Maybe that's writing emails, or maybe that's answering emails, or maybe that's scheduling appointments, or maybe that's creating content for somebody. And then create a profile on platforms such as Upwork, Zertual, Belay, Fiverr, and showcase what 
you have done in the past by creating a resume for people you have worked for. And I would also advise you to look for new clients on platforms like LinkedIn. And virtual assistants can get paid a good amount of money with a salary range from $40,000 a year to $65,000 a year. Now next on the list is to become a store owner or a seller on an e-commerce platform. And as an e-commerce seller, you will basically run an online store and sell products through platforms like Amazon or eBay or Shopify. So you can be a person that goes around to yard sales on the weekend and find something that's pretty cool and then sell it. That's a way to earn additional cash. And some of your day to day duties may be listing products and to optimize product descriptions because you need to make sure that people understand what it is that you have or what it is that you're selling. Another day to day duty may be to manage inventory and to make sure that orders are getting fulfilled. And e commerce sellers typically work for themselves or they either work for anyone who has created an online store and needs help managing it. And the skills that you will need to do this type of a job is knowledge on e commerce platforms like Amazon or eBay. You need to have marketing and sales skills and you need to have the ability to analyze different market trends to see where consumers or where customers are looking to buy next. And to land your first sale, you should look at a niche and to try to determine what is it that they are looking to purchase and then set up an online store on a platform like Etsy or eBay or Shopify and then learn some SEO and digital marketing or ways that you can buy products that people want to pay for. And e-commerce sellers can make good money. They can make anywhere from $500 a week to $5,000 a week and anywhere from $39,000 a year to $66,000 a year and more depending on the products that you're selling and your sales volume. Next on the list is becoming a pet sitter or a dog walker. And hey, I have a mother-in-law who loves to come and visit us down here in Texas and she needs people to sit and watch her awesome dog, Jake. That is a pet sitter and she pays somebody to do that for her when she comes down where there are many people who need this type of work done. They also need individuals to walk their dogs because they may be getting old or they may be on a road trip. This is the type of work that you will be doing as a pet sitter in a dog walker. And you will typically work for yourself as a pet owner, or you can do this through online platforms such as Rover or WAG. And to make you a standout dog sitter or pet sitter, you need to make sure that you love animals and you have knowledge of how to treat them. You need to be reliable and have good time management skills. And you need to be up for walking dogs and handling pets. And to get your first client, gain experience by offering your services to friends and families. I know you guys know some friends and family who has a dog or a cat or whatever it is, volunteer to pet sit for them when they go out of town or create profiles on pet care platforms like Rover or WAG, and then make sure that you get insured and bonded for security. And the salary range for a pet sitter or a dog walker is from $47,000 a year to $73,000 a year, depending on your location and the demand. Next on the list is a photographer. There are many people who need images captured for them for weddings or for birthdays or just for portraits for family pictures to put on the next Christmas card or on their LinkedIn. There are many people who are looking to have pictures taken. And that's basically what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You'll be shooting photos based on your client's needs and you'll be editing those photos and retouching those photos and managing the relationships that you have with your clients. And as a photographer, you will typically work for yourself or for other small businesses or work at events or event planning center or a place where they have events typically on a weekly basis. And the skills that you will need is photography and photo editing skills and creativity. And you need to pay attention to the details that is very, very important, especially when you are taking pictures of people at events. And to get started, there will be some overhead because you need to invest in a good camera 
in editing software and then build a portfolio and share your pictures on platforms like Instagram or Facebook or Flickr and then network with individuals who may be looking for your services. And as a photographer, you can make some good money with a salary range from $52,000 a year to $97,000 a year. The next and final on the list is ride sharing or delivery driving. And you guys know what this is. It's basically you driving people around back and forth to the airport or to their doctor's appointment, or you picking up Amazon packages or Walmart packages and delivering them to people. And as a ride share or a delivery driver, you'll be typically working for Uber or Lyft, or you'll be working for DoorDash or Uber Eats or Amazon. And the skills that you need is being efficient when you drive, having good customer service skills and time management and route planning skills. And this is relatively an easy one to get started with. You need to sign up with a ride sharing platform or a delivery platform, and then make sure that your vehicle meets the requirements and make sure that you have a license and insurance. And you can make a good amount of money with a salary range from $41,000 a year to $62,000 thousand dollars a year plus tips so there you have it guys these are all the side hustles that you can do outside of your nine to five so you are looking to make some extra cash for sending your kids to private school or to college or to buy that house or to keep your wife or your husband at work to take care of the kids these are things that you can do on the side starting today that gives you the flexibility and the potential to grow your income. That's what side hustles are all about, growing your income, guys. Hopefully you find one of these side hustles to be something that you want to start. I will tell you like this, guys, remain consistent, understand your why, and do this, set goals for yourself. If you do those three things, you will have success in any side hustle that you start. Guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit like on the video. Not only that, if you are new to our channel and you like the content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that notification bell because we drop videos on a Tuesday and Thursday and you don't wanna miss any of our future videos. We will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace.